Hey folks, um, Andrew here. Uh, I bought one of these turtle robots for weeding, and I wanted to talk about that a little bit because the videos I watched before I bought this were a little bit misleading, at least. They were different than what I've experienced with it, so I wanted to share this, even though they were third-party um, videos. And so let me go over that real quick. So this is a robot if you haven't seen it i imagine most people that will watch this are probably already know what this guy is but he just drives around um, solar powered you never have to charge him um, when he gets enough sunlight he starts weeding and what he has is just a weed eater on the bottom so it manages to trim the grass or weeds before they get um, you know barely out of the ground and that causes them to die off but what you'll notice, um, if you look at the rest of the garden, it is doing better than the rest of the garden. So the rest of the garden is covered in green and there is some bare spots in here, but there is a lot of grass in here. And the reason that is, is because um, multiple times what I've learned, so I've got a bit of sandy soil, which is a little bit tougher for it. And that I think there is mention of that in um, some of the paperwork that sandy soil is prone to get stuck for it. So maybe not best for my type of soil, but what it's done well on the sandy soil, other than when like a branch falls out of these trees right next to it. If a branch falls, it'll get stuck on a tree and it'll dig itself into the dirt and get stuck. And what happens is it has a shutoff mechanism. It's, from my experience, it seems that it has a shutoff mechanism where you have to manually turn it back on. So you have to come pull it off the tree and manually turn it back on. That all seems smart. Um, but what I found is it makes it so you really have to keep an eye on this, at least in my conditions. Uh, so like kind of what I was getting from a lot of the videos I watched was you really could almost let it go for a month, um, but that's not true. I, I have to daily check on it to make sure it hasn't got stuck. Um, so that is still easier than having to weed your own garden on a daily is just getting it unstuck. So I still think there's a benefit there, but what's happened in mine is, you know, I've taken a trip once or twice and it's been stuck for multiple days. And when that happened, the grass grew tall enough that it sees it as a plant now. So it, it senses things above a certain height as plants and it won't mow it down. So I've got grass growing in here because it now thinks those are plants and it won't weed it in those areas. So I just kind of wanted to share my experiences because I didn't see any videos out there that shared the same experience I'm having with the turtle. So um, for, yeah, hopefully this gives a little more insight to maybe people in the same conditions as me or a more realistic of you know what the maintenance might be more like because my my maintenance such a, you know keep an eye on it hasn't been quite as good as the other videos i've seen online all right all the best to you guys